Last year at the end of May, I received these boots from LA Police Gear. These are their 8-inch side zip boots. Um, I just wanted something with the side zip. I wanted to try it out. LA Police Gear sells boots and their apparel, their line of apparel, for just unbelievably inexpensive prices. Uh, I've had a couple of their bags, the bailout bag, and then also just one of their EDC bags. It just has Molly attachments on it. I've had those bags for over 20 years, using them very hard. I mean, using them every day. Uh, and I go to the range a lot, I carry these bags with me, and they just hold up. So I was really interested to know how their footwear would hold up. And the side zip boots are just so convenient and so easy. Uh, these boots have been worn every day, except on Sunday. Typically on Sunday, I don't wear them. But every day, I wear these boots. Because they're just so freaking comfortable is one thing. I mean, for me, they just happen to fit my feet just right. Um, and it's just a great boot. Well, I wanted to bring these to you because they were running at that time $49.99, which is a fantastic price for this quality. I think right now, and this has been, like I say, just a little under a year later, uh, they're at $54.99. But they're still an excellent quality boot. So we're going to take a look at these boots compared to a brand new pair, which I just got. And I've been dying to do this video because I want to start wearing my new ones, but I didn't want to wear them before the video. Now, one of the biggest things that I love about the side zip boots in particular, uh, there's a little small little Velcro tab that fits right here. Still has plenty of uh, stickability. YKK zippers, we just pull them down, open it up. The boot just comes right off. And this makes it really handy. I mean, and... This is the first time I've had any of these side zip boots. And guys, I'm telling you, it is amazing. Uh, one thing my wife, one of her rules about the house is you've got to take your shoes off if you're going to walk on the carpet. And this has made it so easy to do that. The great thing is, too, is if you're going to put them back on, just get them in a decently hard surface, lay it down, zip it up, bring it around to protect your zipper, and you're ready to go. Now, one thing that I've read, uh, especially with some of the reviews, is that the laces would just come undone. And guys, I've worn these for at least a week at a time before I even needed to tighten them up. Now, they do come loose every once in a while, but if I have to tighten, tie my boots once a week, <laughs> the one big thing that I love about this boot, no matter what the price is, is just the ease of removing these and putting them back on. Guys, I published the original video on May 20th. I've been wearing them for four weeks when I published that video. Now it's the end of April, and I'm getting ready to switch these out. Uh, they still have plenty of life to them, and to be honest with you guys, I have not cleaned them, not one time, and that was part of the process. Uh, wearing these every day, uh, and we have a lot of red mud or red dirt, and so you're seeing some of that that's just been on here, especially when it rains or the dogs would step on my, <laughs> my boots you know, when I'd walk up. And so that's where most of this comes from. I kind of thought about cleaning them up, but I just decided I wanted to show them as is. One of the biggest features, though, again, that I love about this boot is this side zip. I mean, it is so convenient, so easy. Boots, when you're having to relace them all the time, you know, it takes up a lot of time. And when I'm just quickly wanting to throw these on, I mean, it's almost like loafers. <laughs> I mean, I just slip them on, zip it up, the little Velcro tab, closes. Now here on this zipper, in fact when I got the boots, it already had this. It looked a little bit frayed, uh, but there was no real change. I mean, it stayed the same. Uh, here with one side, the boot looks really good. I mean, there is a little bit of fraying that's occurred, but they've held up well. These are YKK zippers. has a small little catch here that's metal, and these are made to be able to use off and on. I mean, and the more you use these, they're self-lubricating. So you can see uh, they've never come off track. They've always been good and solid. Just flip that over. It's a very natural way. Now these are suede, and uh, and then they have you know a synthetic up here. Uh, the laces, they're a little bit slick, but I didn't have that much trouble with these staying tied. Now I'm not going to do a full review on these because I've already done it, and uh, just be redundant. Uh, there is a composite toe right here that gives you some support. Uh, there is some support. It has one of the EVA uh, midsoles. You can pull that right out. You can put whatever you want to in there, but I left the ones that were in there. Uh, the odor is minimal. I mean, it, even wearing these every day. Uh, sometimes I have some shoes that if I wear, 
Uh, I have some Keens that I, I had to change out the insole because it just, the, the smell was awful. Uh, these are breathable, so that helps. And uh, it's got a good traction on it here, again, every day, guys. And I'm going to compare it with a new pair for you to really get a better look. You can see there is wear, but that just comes, again, with wearing it every day. But still, there's a lot of tread left. Uh, one thing they do have is this little area right here. It's a flex carrier. Uh, it's almost like molly attachments. You can put a small magazine, a pouch on here, or whatever you want to, a knife. And you can slip it on here and just keep it down there at your boot. Uh, put your pants leg over it and it's hidden. Uh, it does have a tongue here to be able to pull it. Tongue itself here is gusseted. Here you can see it's just gusseted. It's going to keep this from debris and things like that from falling in. Uh, and then also you have reinforced eyelets here at the top. Um, and guys, I'll tell you, I, you know, and people wear boots differently. I mean, some guys have wider feet and they seem to wear their boots out faster. Uh, and that's just part of it. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, the wear has been excellent. Now here at the toe, uh, one of these is a little bit separated right at the edge. Uh, this one is still solid. I mean, it is locked down solid. A little bit of adhesive behind this would fix that. But I do just want to show you all the things that could possibly go wrong. Uh, I'm not really sure why this one in particular, but you can see the laces have worn on one side. It's funny because on this foot, I don't have any kind of wear on the laces. So I'm not really sure if I was doing something in particular on this side to wear that. But uh, as you see, there it is. Some of the threads, you can see they're popping up a little bit here and there. Uh, especially around this area because I use this a lot. It's not quite as sticky as it was, but it holds right into place. It covers up that zipper, which makes it nice. It's not just sticking out. Here with the new boot, you can see um, you know, the differences, a lot of the small little frays that come up with just wear. Of course, you can see when you get the boot itself, it looks really nice and clean. Here are the zipper. Uh, this is a really nice zipper, this area right here. This is actually better than the original pair when I first got them. The Velcro is good and strong on these new ones, and they're using the exact same system. These are the same boots. Locks up very well. Here you can see the tread difference. Uh, you've gotten some a lot of wear right in here. You can see here where the wear is. These are good and solid, large. These have been worn down. But again, one year of wear. Uh, of course, the color has changed some, but that has everything to do with the dirt, the red dirt that we have here in South Carolina. The heels are reinforced. In fact, with the insoles, uh, they're reinforced to give you good support. Guys, I have a lot of choices in boots. Uh, I have a lot more expensive boots. In fact, um, you know, I have some Solomons that are, you know, 250 bucks. Uh, I use those for really hard wear, but for everyday use, these have been great. Uh, one thing I did just notice is right here, this is starting to pull loose. Um, again, this has been a solid year. And the great thing is these are reasonable. I mean, they're, they're cheap. I mean, $54 for a great pair of boots, kind of hard to beat. And of course, if Coyote is not your color, if you don't really care for suede, <laughs> they do make the black leather. And while I was at it, I said, go ahead and send me a pair of black so I can show those off as well. Uh, these are really nice. These are polishable. You can polish these. Same kind of tread, uh, same side zip. These are just the exact same boot. Instead of suede, it's just a leather, and then, uh, again, you can clean these up, you can polish them, and, uh, you know, if you want the black. For me, having both pair, black and Coyote, you know, for $110, <laughs> it, you know, it's just a great buy. Uh, they are padded at the top as well, and uh, that's on both of them, So which, which gives it a lot of comfort. But these are breathable. Uh, I have worn these through the creek, uh, and while they're not rated as waterproof, I have not gotten my feet wet by walking in the water. So again, guys, just a quick update on the wear of the boots, what you're looking at with a year. Again, guys, some people just wear their boots out a lot faster. And, you know, if you're a little more careful, me, I am in the dirt, I am at the range, I am on gravel, I'm on pavement, I'm on all kind of surfaces, and... They've just held up well. Uh, I won't be throwing these out. I'll be using them for cutting grass and doing yard work around the house. 
and relegating these for other things. And I'll tell you what, guys, I will be wearing these at NRA. Be there all weekend, and these are the boots that I want to wear because they are just that comfortable. I like good shoes. I typically wear Clarks, Keens, Timberland. I mean, I wear nice shoes. I like good quality shoes. And a lot of times, Danner boots are some of my favorites. But for everyday wear that I just don't care if they get messed up or not, uh, this is a great choice. LA Police Gear is not paying me. They're not sponsoring the channel or nothing. Uh, I just They just sent the boots for this test, and uh, I really appreciate them sending them. Yes, they are imported. I don't, I'm not really sure where they're imported from. Probably from uh, China, but good quality. So guys, if you're looking for a really great everyday boot that you can just wear around doing chores, doing work, or whatever, for $54.99, uh, it's hard to beat the price on these boots, and they definitely last. And hey, if you need to change out a pair of boots by one year and grab you a new pair for, again, $54.99, I think it's a great deal. So guys, if you're really serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. It is one of the best resources on the web, and I upload one video a week that's exclusive to Survival Dispatch Insider that you're not going to see here on Sensible Prepper. So check it out. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.